No, I didn't. I said things that could lead to a breakup, man. Welcome, opinionated family. But this is called things that could lead to a breakup. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't label it sixteen things that can lead to a breakup. I just said things that can you lead start to labeling a breakup. shit, and hey, then you know, we don't do what's, what's on the podcast at all. <laughs> nah, we definitely don't. <laughs> Does my mic sound nice. No. Uh, uh, here. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Right. You're not you in the room. Me? All right, you remember last last one? Oh man, I was when yeah, I was yeah. It's because you didn't change it over. Oh, yeah, I fucked up real bad. All you gotta do is get a good camera, and you'd be in there. Yeah, my, you can't, camera, my camera is as good as it's gonna be right now. Your, your camera like takes breaks to do crack. Like hold up. <laughs> that shit definitely stops and then and then just starts when it wants to. It sends, your, it sends all your information to the AI shit. <laughs> it stops and it sends your info. Yeah, that could lead to a breakup. You. Motherfucker, get there. Y'all be dating over the internet and you don't look like your AI picture. <laughs> that isn't even the beginning. No, they be in a relationship. We was in a relationship for now. Nah, you ever heard that motherfucker be in a relationship on the, over the internet for like six months and they go finally meet the person? Yeah, niggas still doing that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I ask myself that question when my wife watches Catfish every time. Why <clears throat> are you still falling for this? And Catfish now with AI? Oh, Lord Jesus. I, <laughs> man, it just, whew, man. Listen, I'm, listen. I'm, I'm listen, bro. I don't want to. <laughs> please explain. All right, what things that can lead to a breakup, man? There's just certain things in a relationship, man, that can lead to a breakup. You don't know. You, it, it's it's everybody knows the the seven, like the ten deadly sins of breakups, man. The biggest one out there is always and is always the top one: infidelity, cheating. Fucking and sucking somebody you ain't got no business we'll, we'll doing. Pass that one. <sighs> yeah. we'll pass that's, that's, that. that's, that's obvious. From a, yeah, I'm uh, saying a that's more an fresh obvious. angle. Okay, let's say okay, fresher angle. Okay, lack of compatibility. Okay. Yes. Sometimes, okay. despite how much you love someone, you just aren't compatible. Compatible or compatible? Compatible. I fuck up words all the time. <laughs> We can't all right, all right, yo, because we go do this shit the whole time. Because Kev's gonna be gonna compatible do it. when it's compatible, baby. Kev gonna do it and then look at me and then, <laughs> and then attack. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Compatible. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yo, I can't. All right, all right. I'm Different gonna personalities, me. interests, all that shit, man. You just ain't y'all just ain't a match, you know. Um, that's a that's a big thing. Have you ever have y'all ever been through that particular thing where you realize like, yo, I, don't, I barely even like this motherfucker, bro. I had that one time. I think I was talking. I think our conversation, like, I'm like, I'm talking to a fucking idiot. Oh shit! Nah, you know, you try to have a conversation with somebody and and you bring something up and and their shit just goes so fucking left field. You you just looking at this person like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yes. All I said was, I don't like the taste of Wawa coffee. Why are we talking about uh, police and drug wars in Colombia? Like, how did we get there? Oh, no, yeah, you must have missed it. That shit sounded like it was a fire-ass conversation. If y'all were talking about coffee and it led to drug wars in Colombia, I mean, it, it, coffee could have had something to do with coffee it. Coffee came from Colombia, but it's like, yeah, hey. That's where they put all the drugs in on the way here. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yo, that sounds like a fire ass conversation. Maybe you missed it. Nah, I didn't miss that. Maybe you were the dumb one. Oh, all right. Let me let me get a better example. Let me yeah. get a better. Yeah, let's see how that works. I messed up with that one. I, I, want, yeah. I messed up with that because yeah, cl- uh, coffee does come from Colombia, but or you know maybe Poor hygiene definitely can cause hygiene. that. Or or you, you you know you're talking about you know how to better stable your financial you know how how they become better financially stable and and they start bringing up pyramid scheming like the what what okay. how how am I gonna get financially stable with a fucking pyramid scheme? Tell me who's a fucking millionaire off of that shit if you're doing it right. Nobody's a millionaire. The, the people who pyramid. created the pyramid yeah, the scheme people, is the millionaire. The nigga at the top of the pyramid who started that shit initially. Yeah. And a few rows under. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. 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 A few rows under. All, all the way down, all, all the way down to the fifth row. By the tenth row, everybody broke. Well, it's not called <laughs> it's not called a pyramid scheme anymore. It's called multi-level marketing. And yeah, but they mad people do it. But they try to bring you in on the pyramid. They want to, she wanted to talk about the let's go now. Bitch, we are at the bottom rung of this pyramid scheme. This pyramid scheme has been going on for like 10 years now. We are not going to make any money. Oh, no, let's invest in it. Let's go. Now. Just, it's fucking funny. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, I, 
the conversations was just like it was just lacking. I would just look it, it lacking. I would just look like am I why am I about to continue this conversation? You know what? I didn't check that like 30 minutes ago. Like at yeah. that point, you're just looking for the pussy. Yeah, so, you know, I'm like, let's just skip this. Let's just skip this whole process of talking. Let's just go to the bedroom. Like, this is <laughs> why <laughs> did I try to see something different in you? You know what? Just like <laughs> <the table>. Never <laughs> off the table. <laughs> but you try to say, why did I try to see something different in you? <laughs> <laughs> now take your pants off. Take your pants off. <laughs> it's um, it, yo, know, you know what? Like, so, so basically, a difference in intellect. So. That could definitely be a deal breaker, and that could be the reason why a relationship ends or never even gets started because it's only so much you it's only so far you can go um when you feel like you're having different conversations, two different conversations with a person. You know what I mean? I feel that's more like beginning shit. How is. what is the deal breaker? What is the no, thing that, I'm saying you, end yeah. a rela- okay, you in a relationship with this female or this male for a year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been y'all been doing things together for a year. And now you're just like, you know what? I feel like this is over. What are those things that affect uh, lack of, that? I'm mindset? talking about lack of compatible. Y'all not compatible. Y'all just don't y'all don't mesh. You don't see yourself going any farther in this shit. Like you try, maybe you've been there for like a year or two or three years, and you like, you know what? Yeah, we are that's way too long. I'm about to say if you're with that's a person for a year and you just realizing that y'all aren't compatible. You Bro, once the fucking, are not the one that's the smart one. Once the shine wakes, wears off, and- <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like really? you're like I've been getting pussy for 365 days, but on that 366 day, we had a conversation, and on that conversation, <laughs> I realized that's that's not, you're not for that, me. That's that's, <laughs> con- that's that's conversation. I'm talking about anything. It's just like you know, after the shine starts to wear off, and y'all start talking about life goals, and you, and this motherfucker is like, she ain't got none. Yeah, like uh, I'm trying to buy a house. She's comfortable in an apartment. You know, she wants to. You know what I'm saying? Well, that may be a little bit different. That just yeah. And, yeah, and I think that should be maybe the next uh, part of the conversation, which is your goal is not aligned. Because that's well, that's a big thing, especially at our age oh, right yeah. now. Oh, it is. Uh, you might get with somebody who they stuck they stuck in their they twenties as far as what they want out of life. Maybe they don't even know. And you want to go further and further in your life. And that person is like, nah, I'd rather be here. Why you always want to, or a person who wants to stay in the hood for the rest of their life. And you want to move out of the hood, said hood and, and, you know, do better for your kids. Those are the things that are really affecting relationships uh, for people our age. Well, I'm talking, all right. Nah, it is. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, but that's, I mean, that's where you're at at this time. In, in in our age, it's like, all right, we done been through all that other shit. You know what I mean? Now we're on another plateau. Well, Try to I, figure out what's gonna, you know, bring the most out of your life. But speak 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 from the knowledge of the past. Like speak from your knowledge of the past and shit like that. You remember when you was younger, like you, you y'all was living in y'all had the apartments and and and, and all that shit and, and you had the busted vehicles and you had the part time bullshit jobs, both of y'all. Now y'all start trying to look towards the future and and you're saying to this person, like, you know what? I'm not comfortable being here no more. And you start telling them your goals and your dreams and they start at a young age and they start laughing at you like, what uh, are you doing? Continue, please. And they start laughing at your dreams because it's like, you you know, what I mean, they're stuck. Like, even though y'all 21, 22, you know, they're still stuck on. I'm just out of high. I'm just removed from high school, and you're like, yo, I'm starting to look to, towards my future, and you're realizing this person that you're with is not doesn't really have no future goals in sight other than partying and drinking every weekend, and you're trying to fucking move further along in life. Like this ain't it. This ain't the end all be all for us. Like I got more goals in life, but yeah. you're fucking content with just being here. Like you can't see past this bullshit right now. Like that's that's a fucking deal breaker because it's like, yo, I. Motherfuckers, young minded. Even though y'all are young, you like this person is fucking immature. Like, you know, maybe she needs a person that's with her is just on that immature level. Like, I need somebody a little bit mature. She don't necessarily got to be an older woman. Maybe she could be the same age, but her mind matured a little bit more than yours did. Before, I'm speaking that from like a young age. Yeah, yeah. But I, and I'm gonna go back to that young age uh, before we move forward. And this is for both of y'all. You had a bitch laugh at your dreams before. Ooh. 
You just said that. He was like, bitch, she, nah, you tell I, your I, dreams and she laugh at you. She just, hey, I ain't never had nobody. I, I wish if motherfucker laughed at my dreams, I'm, you I'm just are. Saying, it, if they're gone, you, they're gone at that day. Have you, have you said something that you were like, yo, this is what I want to do with my life? And the bitch be like, <laughs> nah, not, not, not a person I was with. I had somebody do that shit to me in school, though. Fuck that. I man. said I wanted to be an actor. And uh, you could have been one too, real shit. If yeah, you I, 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 I was really thinking about it, and motherfucker definitely, literally, everybody in class was cool, and this one girl fucking died laughing, and I'm like, cool, awesome. I don't know what you're gonna be, but <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what you're gonna be, a bitch. Tell her, <laughs> hey, Brian, yeah. tell, tell her, bitch, you proved the right. I definitely proved the right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I you know hey, what? Yo, when Kev said that shit, that shit kind of stuck. Right. Like, I ain't never had a bitch laugh at my dreams, but when he said, like, you tell a bitch your dreams and then she laugh at you, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> that ends everything right yeah, there. Like, leave. that ends conversation, that ends friendship. Leave. Nah, I, I'd never be with nobody yeah, like that. Right. I'm just saying, you just, y'all, think about, think about the shit like, think about when y'all was younger, y'all was in the apartment with your girl and you just had, you looked at her and you like, some girls you looked at like, yo, man, I could see a future with her if I don't fuck up. And then there was some you just look like, this shit is probably only going to last maybe a couple more months and I'm out of here. Like, this shit is getting boring. I'm getting bored with this shit. I used to get bored with bitches. That's what I, I was going to get to. but I don't waste time. Um, I've been with yeah. mine for uh, such a long time that it's a little bit different because, you know, like, the love never ever, no matter what was happening, the love never went away. But any other chick that I ever talked to in between, I don't waste time. If you start doing goofy shit, I just don't talk to you no more. Like, and I could do that very easily. If you, if our conversations ain't matching up, there's no need to call you on the phone anymore to, I already don't like talking on the phone anyway, yeah. to, to, to people that I don't necessarily know. And the, the conversation doesn't go further. Or if she is expressing any type of disdain in my dreams, to me, that that ends it right there. It's like, cool, I don't ever need you. You're not on my side. I don't need you near me. So it, it kind of ends. You're talking about tolerance at the end of the day. How long are you going to tolerate somebody who is not on your level? Uh, to, yeah. To your penis said that pussy is no longer good. No, I think, I think, I think, no, nah, I think that once your brain is active, like, and this bitch ain't shit, the pussy starts to become butt too. Like that, it starts to become ass. This, I mean, like you fucking her and, and and you have no really like you really don't know what she's into. You don't know what quality she has to bring to the table. It's a one night stand, and then y'all de decides to to you decide to divulge more into her and see what she's about. And as soon as you see what she's about, and then you start fucking her again, you be like, mm, I don't think I like this no more. I don't think I, like you know what I mean, <laughs> yeah, like uh this ain't for me. This this isn't as good as when it was mysterious. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, like getting to know a person will. So I know we're talking about what could you know cause a, a relationship to actually you know you know be over with. But just like Kev said, a lot of this is more towards the beginning. Like certain shit, you it hit and you don't let it go further. If you're letting it go further, then she's that's not that she's not at fault. Hold up. So let me ask you a question. So y'all telling me y'all can never been in a relationship years in and, and shit like you start noticing like y'all ain't compatible no more or no. the No. It, it's not it's not that we're not yeah. yeah, it's not it's not that we weren't compatible, it's just we grew apart. Okay, how, difference. Okay, how about this? You've never been with somebody in your younger years and you realize y'all goals is different. Like y'all been dating for four years and you start to you know, like say, okay, say you're dating somebody, you started y'all started dating when y'all are twenty, say twenty two. Okay. And everything's good, you know. Y'all, you know, y'all doing everything a 22 year old, you know, whatever 22 year old do, whenever. And five years later, five years go by. Now you got 27. Okay. And you're ready to start looking towards, you know, you're looking like, hey, man, you know what? 30s, only a few years away. Uh, I'm not at where I want to be at right now. All right, let me start making the necessary changes to fucking start going that way. 
and but this person you're with is still on I, I time I still got unlimited time left I'm still in my mind 22 and I'm still doing the immature shit a 22 year old would normally do and and it's fucking hindering your goals now you don't put now think about it you're five years five years invested in this shit you're telling me you're you, you're telling me after five years that's just gonna be an easy simple walk in the house you know what this is over with I'm gone peace Five well, years. Come don't on. Don't let man. me. Don't let me go. But go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, do you say what you got to say? So right now, you are. There is. There is a big part of what you're saying that is absolutely correct. Uh, maybe the goals not aligning is maybe maybe, maybe that's the perfect um, example because you won't know, and you have different. You'll have different goals as you're younger. If you start at 22. You'll have different goals. Your goals might be to go out and party and do this and do that. Then as you get older, you want to start getting stuff together. Um, I do think that you see signs of shits. Y'all know me. I do the same thing to y'all. I do it to everybody that I love. I'll ask them questions. I'll ask you questions just to see where your head's at. I don't do it on purpose. It just comes to me like, oh, I wonder how this person will react if such and such happens. I do that shit, especially in my relationship. So I'm kind of getting the feel for you the whole time that we're together. And I'm speaking as a 39-year-old man who's already accumulated all, you know, all this shit and I'm married and everything. Maybe when I was younger, I didn't think this way. The reason why I say that is because I kind of know where it's going by let's let's be generous and say maybe two and a half years. I kind of know where it's going. I know it isn't going anywhere. Cause I'm asking you questions as I'm as I'm in my mind elevating. And you still like, nah, let's get this house in fucking, let's get this house in North Philly. Cause my aunt lived down there and you know, my cousins and them be down there. So I know that we can chill with them and, you know, party every night. Nah, I'm already knowing like, Oh, I ain't trying to do that shit. Nigga. I'm, you know, I gotta go to work. I gotta, you know, I want, we got kids. I want them to be safe. I want, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to live in the heart of North Philly. You know what I'm saying? Even though I got love for North Philly, I don't want to live down there because I want to you know, let's let's find some good public schools and, and things of that nature. And I'm saying that as a product of public schools in Philadelphia. So I think there's things that tip you off way before the five year mark. And if you go further than that, then you are fooling yourself. Continue. Another, another thing to, to add on to that is if you're with a person for five years and you guys have been discussing shit your whole this this whole time and then you wake up one day and realize that. You're not where you want to be in life and you need to do this and you need to do that. You're thinking about stuff that you need to do for yourself. So when you when you're talking about goals, that's a goal. That's a new goal that you just created right then when you woke up. You know, what I mean, that's a discussion that needs to be had with your partner. And if they don't see eye to eye with that, is that necessarily their fault that, you know, what I mean, now your goals aren't aligned. You know, what I mean, especially if you're if you're thinking that and then and then. And I'm speaking for myself. If I wake up one morning and I'm and I decide that this isn't where I'm supposed to be, I need to do this. And this is the steps that I want to take to get there. If they decided that's not what they want to do or that's not aligned with what they're trying to do. And I mean, it, are you looking at them a certain type of way? Because now you're like, oh, are you not doing this? Why? Why aren't you trying to be down or why? Why you can't let me do what I need to do? I think there's a sp- uh, um, a little bit of selfish selflessness in, in that making the decision because you're really making a decision for yourself of what you want to be in the future mm-hmm. when you when I'm with a person for as long as I am like now with my future wife when I make a decision about I want to do something I talk to her about it before I even decide to make the steps because I have to make sure that She's not going to do she, I'm not doing something that's interfering with what she's trying to do and vice versa and see how we can make it work instead of me just deciding this is what I'm going to do. And you either riding or you not. You know, what I mean, because everything can't go that way, especially if you spent so much time in a relationship. There's no way in five years that you there's no way that I've been with you for five years and I'm not asking you within the first year. Yo, what are you what are you doing? What, you, what do you want to do in the future? Like, what, are you trying to have kids? Are you trying to, because I need to know certain things that I'm going to get myself into. I don't wait to the third, fourth, second year mark to figure out what's where this is going. You know, what I mean, and how we're going to make this last if this is a serious relationship, if it's right. something I take serious. 
You know what I mean? So that's that's some new goal shit. And that's that goes back to having a conversation. And, and you, you, you are right. It could be a deal breaker if that's something that you really, really want to do. And they don't want to be a part of that. And that's a, that's really a decision that you have to make. Am I going to decide to just do this and leave them behind and leave all that time behind and leave the love behind because this is what I want to do and this is who I want to be? Or am I going to find a different way to, to make this goal happen and, and see if they can work with me? <clears throat> but after, f- uh, Jesus Christ, five years, you with a person? See, people, see, y'all don't, and, you, y- and y'all, you, thinking, y'all thinking one way about the situation. Now, say you asked all the questions and you did the same thing. Maybe that person might have been, you know, in in love and lust and not in love and been telling you everything you want to hear. And then said, you know, to themselves one day, say, I didn't really think we would be together this long. And maybe you at the beginning of your relationship, you said, she said, you didn't want no kids. And she said, hey, I feel the same way. I don't want kids either. And y'all are both happy with that decision. Mm-hmm. And then five years come down the line and, and 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 she's like, you know what? I've been really thinking about this. I didn't think we would be this far in our relationship because it was rocky at the beginning. I think I want kids now. But now you're firm on the ideals. Hey, like, hey, we talked about this years ago that we didn't want kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's now that's you're now point. you're hitting me. Now you're coming out of left field with this kids thing. And I really and your your hardcore stance is I don't want kids. I'm this is just a this is just a scenario. This ain't it's a good scenario. I get you. I get you. Your, your hard stance is I don't want kids. But her, you know, she's like, she's seen, you know, females change like that. They see other people with kids. They, they, they have had that happen to them. So n- now where do you go? Cause it's like, you know, you're five years in and at the five years, you're probably discussing marriage or your proposal. You're thinking about getting married and you're like, you know, we said we didn't want kids. Like, where the fuck did this come from? Like, now you're looking at yourself and and her, and you're looking at this relationship and this time. Y'all probably bought a house together, or not even a house. Y'all probably got a place together. It's certain things in her name that that you have, and certain things in your name that she has. It could be car. So some some simple as car insurance. <clears throat> something as simple as as complicated as a, as a car. Or maybe the house is in, or the, the apartment or space y'all living in or renting or own, y'all both tied to this thing. Y'all got now, pets together. Yeah, that's hard. So now you're at this crossroad of like, yo, I'm a hard no on kids, and maybe that's a deal breaker for her. And she's talking about leaving you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she wants to break up with you and split yep. and break this thing off. And she's like, you know what? I'd rather start all over. You know, with somebody else, and, and, and possibly have kids. Like, how? Where do you now? Now you're on the other side of that. How do you look at that situation? Um, that that's that's a good scenario because yeah, you're putting it on the other side. Like, you, you you're not always the one who wants something different. Maybe the other one wants something different, and maybe it wasn't that way to begin with. Um, yeah, man, you're in a tough spot because you're not you're not of the mercy of what you want. You're on the mercy of what somebody else wants. What, and if that other person doesn't want to be with you and you are a hard stance on your no babies clause, then peace. I think personally, I think a lot of shit would go better if people would just not trying to change people and act on what they really feel. I think the world will be better off. And, and in relationships, I think if you go that way, you can stop wasting each other's time because that's what really, that's what people don't want. Nobody wants to waste their time. You can love that person very, very much. Time heals all. So even if you, you know, part ways with that person, it's going to take some time to heal up and be able to get back out there the way you would like to. But if a motherfucker say, yo, this is, yo, I don't really want to be with you because you want to do some different shit. And I don't. And cut it right there. I think motherfuckers will live a better life. People will live a better life if they just so the real so, shit that they feel. So if your wife came to you, I'm already saying Hypo- I, I, hypothetically. <laughs> so your wife came to you hypothetically, say it's not going to happen. She came with something you was on a hard stance against. Mm-hmm. You will go seek divorce. Um. So when it comes to something, I'm on a hard stance against. Give me an example. Okay. Um. Here you go. What are, what yeah, here you go. She tells you, tells you straight up to your face, your dreams are done. You're not chasing this. You're not. I'm not allowing you to chase this goal. 
this is going to affect our relationship. Either you stop it now or we're done. Your dreams. I ain't talking about this podcast. I'm talking about your dreams that you came to her with. And she's like, you know what? This dream is draining our relationship. It's yeah. putting me in a bad spot. It's putting us in a bad spot. I can't do it no more. She comes yeah. in. Yeah. I can't help you let you chase your dream no more. You, that you is a, a dream. You have a choice. Do you care about your dreams more than anything? And are you willing to resent that person for truly? Because if your dreams are a deal breaker, then yes, I would. I would have to seek separation and divorce. Or first, I would, you know, see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm one of them people, man. I'm going to do what it really takes. We're going to go to therapy before I, before I leave a person. We're going to try to work it out if it can be worked out. If we can't see it the way it's supposed to be seen then we have to we have to split amicably because at that point where is our future going cuz i'm i feel like my soul will die if i continue to do mindless work that doesn't help me in any way right and my mm -hmm. dreams are to do something on a more grand scale i'm going to have to chase that because that's just the way i'm built cuz if i get up and go to work Every day, somewhere that doesn't care about me and I don't care about it, the only thing I'm going to do is become a miserable person because I'm not chasing my dreams. So yeah. you want that miserable person around all the time, miserable, to the point where I don't even really want to fuck with you because I'm already resenting you? Or do you split? She find a nigga who just want to be that regular nigga, which is fine. She can find that other nigga. Like, I'm willing to step out of the way and say, go find that nigga that's going to be home at 5 o'clock every motherfucking day to give you exactly what you want. It ain't me, even if I fail. It ain't going to be me. I got to go do something else so my soul can be happy. So you're doing both of y'all a disservice if you stay. Mm. That's my answer to that. All right. Can, I hit you with your dreams. I, I, I hit you where, it, you know. Yo, you hit had... me right, right in the ball sack. Yeah, I had to. And uh, <laughs> right in the ball sack, <laughs> I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. Yeah. All right, Kev. Your your. This is probably couldn't easy. smoke weed anymore. <laughs> it's, nah. This is this is this is an easy one for Kev. Oh, never mind. This is a, this might be easy. I'm done with the situation. Hypothetically, Leah said, "Hey, listen. Um, as far as the kids' situation, like they can't come over here no more, y'all." Y'all got to go somewhere else on your weekend with your kids. Yeah, you can yo. still spend weekend time with your kids, but y'all can't be here. I really can't take it no more. My house is, you know, my house is in the uproar. I don't like it. The kids are the problem. Yeah, that would for me at all. And she knows. She, I mean, she would know that from the door. You know what I mean? That wouldn't work at all. I mean, you talk about my kids here. Yeah, that's why I said that's, that's, that's that one. that that alone. You know what I mean? She knows my kids are my world, so no, that's just a stone cold. You know, well, I guess this is gonna work out. I'm gonna have to get my own place again, and you know what I mean. We'll have to get. We'll just be returning things. Yeah. There really ain't no no explanation or no. It is what it is at that point. All right, well. You know what I mean? If you can't, because if you can't be with my kids for two days, when they're there for a longer periods of time, when I get them for a week or whatever the case may be, what's gonna happen? You just gonna be gone? You know what I mean? Or I'm gonna be gone? Nah, that don't work. Go ahead, y'all. You can go. Give you Kev can, a good one. Give Kev a good one. Go ahead. You throw, go ahead. I don't know what it would be. What that nigga care about most? Care about my kids the most. I guess my situation would be the same. Yeah, but y'all got kids together. Y'all got kids together. Yeah. That, but that's what makes it harder for me because it's like we got kids. Well, you you now, all my kids out of here. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? We got kids together. We got kids together. And I still got kids that's in between. That's that's a hard what if that's a hard I got you. That's a hard I got split. you. Go ahead. The no person way. that you with is not necessarily your kids, but they don't fuck with like your other family members and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You like having these cookouts. You like doing these events. You're really, really family oriented. Now Yo. she loves your kids because y'all are a household. You better you know say something saying? like a little more. You gotta but, get like more detail, like but, brothers and mother. Yeah, that's the only people you with. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's the only people you no care about. I mean, you care about everybody, but 
but the people that are invited to these events are the most closest. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's Aunt Linda, your mother, you know what I mean, your brothers, uh, closest cousins, you know what I mean, and then everybody else who comes is just it's just open to them. But we make sure the ones that we know we want to be there because we we expect to see them there is told directly. You know what I mean? You know that's, we got that's, threads. That's easy. So it's just, it's, it's it's my family. They they always gonna be there. Uh, yeah, and she like well you know. I'm never I'm not dealing I'm not dealing with them ever. She's not gonna deal with them when y'all have a wedding. Y'all just gonna no, go get I, married at the at the John and come back home. Nah. Whenever you do stuff, it'll be by yourself. She already does that. Your kids. <laughs> nah, she don't. already she don't come to no birthday parties at my new you have 50 of them a year. Yeah, she and hasn't been to she hasn't been to one since we've been oh, together. She's a businesswoman. She hasn't she been to one on since we've been same. together. Yeah, it's my it's, it's my third yeah. nephew birthday. Look, nah, she, has, she, has, she, she hasn't been to one birthday party since we've been together. Not one. I don't believe that. No, she hasn't. True. No, I'm not lying. I'm I'm actually telling you the fucking truth. She hasn't been to one of my nieces and nephew birthday parties since we've been together. Because they be, be all right. Let's be let's be real. So, but if you said I had to choose over my my <laughs> brothers and, and her, it'd be a difficult. But it's like, yo, they my brothers and them is gonna always be around. They always gonna. They never did no finagle shit. They never been. That's the one thing I can say about my brothers and my mother. Like they've been solid with me forever. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that about nobody else in my life. I can't say nobody else in my life been solid with me 100% other than my mother. And I'm going to make it clear. My mother and my brothers. And I mean that exactly those names. So what would you tell your girl if she said that? I'm like, yo, I, I guess it's straight up. I, 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 so, I'm, so you're telling me that we are breaking up because you don't fuck with my fam. It's cool. All right, cool. Cause if we're gonna get married, my family's always gonna be around. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need to put nobody in no uncomfortable situations like that. Like, regardless, like you don't like my family's cool. Can, can, I, I, do, can I do you one better? Can I add to that before you keep yeah. answering? Seriously, yeah. I, I just wanna let's let's take that completely away. Sure. Right? Cause I want to make this a little bit more refined. What if she wanted to move to Texas for work and it was very important to her? But the caveat is you wouldn't be able to see your family as much as you see them now. Uh, is that a deal breaker? Nah, I ain't, I ain't and I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm just. I'm nah, I, ain't, I ain't a deal breaker. I will move to Texas. I was like, I, I, OK, it's a move. It's a move. I'm not you're not cutting gotcha. me off from my family. I can always catch a plane to visit my family. My family could come down here. That's not a gotcha. my kids is, is grown a bit. You know what I'm saying? But if you're just telling me you don't fuck with my family, then you don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? You don't fuck with me. My, the okay. person you meet is a the person you love and, and and is with is big and due to my family. A, they played a big part in shaping me who the man I am, who you're dealing with right now. And like I said, my brother, my brothers, and my moms, mm-hmm. yo, never flip the switch to me. Never ever flip the switch to me. I motherfuckers do a little, you know what I'm saying? A little flip, and I'm like, all right, cool. That's you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, that's shit. That's cool. It, it is what it is. And, and it's just, and, the, and I'm saying it's cool. But these motherfuckers been solid with me f- f- for forever. You know what I'm saying? F- f- whatever. You know what I mean? That's why I, when I see my brothers do good shit, I praise them. I, I'm, I love it. I love to see it. It, it brings me, ha- it, it makes me happy to brag about them. Mm-hmm. Vice versa with them. They see me doing something big. It's, they love to brag. Ain't no jealousy there. Ain't no hatred. Ain't no, man, my brother just, this nigga bought another fucking four-wheeler. Like, fuck nigga need all these four-wheelers for. It's like, nah, nigga, my brother brought a new felt. Yeah, my brother brought a new four-wheeler. Nigga, nigga tell me he ride. Yeah, my brother ride too. Nigga, like, 20 bikes. Let me show you all these bikes he got. This shit crazy. Like, I want to show this shit off. Like, look, this shit's crazy. Yeah, he got, like, three cars and shit, like, 20 bikes. Like, yeah, he doing it big. I like to brag about them. It makes me feel good to brag about them. Mm. I feel I feel the joy of bragging about them, so I, I I wouldn't do that shit. So, you know, what I mean, I could go on a whole tangent about them shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's we, honorable. That's honorable. So we talked about another thing last week. I think we did this. I think we did jealous lovers, the insecurities. At some point, yeah. That can that lead to a breakup now? As, as deep as y'all into y'all relationship right now, jealousy. You know, if your wife yeah. is like a jealous person, it takes a while. It, I think it does take longer to set in, but yes, like because you have to get fed up with the jealousy. 
Yeah. I feel no? like the jealousy definitely leads to to other things like okay, you jealous, you jealous, and now you start creating these motherfucking stories in your own head that's happening that that's not even really going on, you know what I mean? And now you in there acting crazy. Like yo, arranged. You, you fucking with a you fucking with a nigga with 24 wheelers and three cars. You know what I mean? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but I'm saying, but deep as y'all are, <laughs> deep as y'all are in y'all relationship now, because y'all are weird. Niggas is deep. Niggas is deep. I got kids yeah. and shit. Like my girl's a jealous motherfucker. You got my nerves. I had to tell her all the time, like, yo, she is. She's a very jealous person. She's a very jealous person. I have to tell her all of my all the time. Nobody like, wants fuck. nobody <laughs> wants me but you. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell her. She fuck? she always hit me with it when I go out with y'all or whomever I'm going out with. She'll be like, have a good time. And then right before I walk out, she'll be like, don't talk to any girls. I'll be like, what? Kevin <laughs> ignores like, her. Yeah, <laughs> hey, he, like, he ignores it. Not girls. for real. Not for real. <laughs> <laughs> I do ignore her. Like, shut up. You don't even. What are you talking about? And I go on. But then she'll ask me later. Like, did you talk to any girls? <laughs> I'll be like, yo, what's, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ask for a drink, but that's it. The fuck. I might. You know, we when we talk about have have you gotten jealous you before again? I've I I found myself. I realized we talked about that before, and then I found myself in a small jealous moment recently where I'm chilling. I know she likes to go out with the homegirls, whatever. And my wife isn't really like a she doesn't really get she's going out with the girls. They don't really get like dressed up or nothing like that. But she got dolled up one day and I was like, where the fuck is you going? yo? you know what I'm saying? You don't even be wearing shit like that on normal. It's nothing too crazy, but it just, you know, it sets an alarm. I'm like, you chilling, you like you look back like. You look kind of good right now. What you where, where you going? You know what I mean? Oh, we're just going out to oh, who you dressing up for then? If you're just going out with the regulars, sounds a little weird. You know what I mean? But sometimes I fuck with her, but at that one instant, I was like, mm, wait a minute, what's going on here? Where you going? Who the fuck are you trying to impress? Don't you have me. Don't have before she leaves, just to let yeah. her know, like, all right. Yeah, and don't don't have me pop up. That's all. Have 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 a good time. Don't have too much of a good time. You know what I mean? said, "Don't have me pop up. Don't have me, you, you ain't. Listen, don't make me have location. a nigga moment. We got each other's location. You know what I'm saying? I will see where you at. Yeah, I will know where you're at. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. And I'm not even a pop up. I'll just let her know. Like it could happen. I I'm not. <laughs> I normally don't have. I normally don't have it in me to be like, man. I'm going up there. Nah, I'll deal with you when you get home. Whatever the case may be. But. Don't think that it can't happen because if it get too too weird, I'll pull up. Fuck is you doing, yo? Who this? Hey, what's up? Fuck out of here, Kenny. <laughs> 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 it's always a nigga named Kenny or some shit. <laughs> comes up with the most. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Mark, what are you doing? Talking <laughs> to my lady. <laughs> Dude, I'm just serving her a drink. Get the fuck out of here. Brad, but just start saying, "Oh, y'all never heard that." Fuck <laughs> <laughs> I heard him cutting your jib. So, like I'm saying, the deep as y'all are in, in your relationship right now, deep as you into this shit right now, because you're married and shit. Could hey, insecurity, because it leads, it does lead to breakup. Motherfucking insecurity, like yo. But you know what? Can it lead to a breakup for you? Like right now, at your stage of life. It would take a very long time. Like I said, I would have to, I would have to get fed up with jealousy. I would have to get fed up with defending myself. I would have to get fed up with, because a little bit of jealousy. I told y'all the other day, I said, yo, I said, um, this is a, a month ago. I told my wife like, yo, I'm like, I think I'm the, I think I'm the sexy Amazon guy. <laughs> and that and that's exactly how she re- she reacted. That's how she reacted. And I'm like, cool. I have to get sexy now. I have to be handsome now. I gotta hey, yo. find a way to be handsome again. Because this hey, is yo. bullshit. I don't like the way you reacted, my nigga. I don't like that at all. I hey, think I am. I be walking a funny up. ass statement. The women, yo. the women be glad to see me when I have their packages and shit. Hey, uh, Amazon guy, I like your package. Yeah. Do you see the Both same? Do you see some of the same people repeatedly? <laughs> a couple of them. But do they know I, your name? No, they don't know my name. Nobody know my fucking name. Well, actually, one person did say my name. Oh, thank you, Andre. How the fuck you know my name? 
I do have a name tag on, but fuck you know my fucking name, bitch. Cause she read your name tag, nigga. The fuck you mean, niggas can read. But you know you and and to me, and I'll, I'll I'll tie it back up. To me, confidence is great. When your confidence is at a high, you do you feel a certain way. You feel like you could do anything when your confidence is at a high. So at that point, my confidence was up. And I'm just like, oh, you know, you just feel a certain way. You smell good every day. You're the clean looking one. All these other niggas look dirty in this motherfucker. You're an older guy, but you look, you know, you clean. You come in with your cut. You, you know what I'm saying? Like girls mm-hmm. kind of be looking, you catch them looking, and it feels good. So over a couple of weeks, I was like, damn, I think, you know, maybe they looking at me. I ain't asked nobody, but I think they looking at me. I think. <laughs> and when I come on my, don't laugh. When I come on my packages, <laughs> I think they be happy to see me. I could be totally fucking clueless and they could be talking about something else. But I think that way. So I told my wife that. And she was like, what the fuck made you think that? And I'm like, <laughs> there's no jealousy there. There's no jealousy there because there's no threat. Mm. There's no threat there because, well, what you going to do? You've been, nigga, I don't even got to worry about you cheating. I don't got to worry about you being in no bitch face. I ain't got to worry about you doing more of that shit. <laughs> good, good. So I'm stuck. <laughs> She's like, but you I don't stupid, like that. <laughs> I want there to be a threat. I want us to go to somewhere and a bitch look at me and she look at me like, the fuck she looking at? And I'm like, mm. <laughs> I want to do all that. So, what so about, yeah, you talking to the wrong nigga. My bad. So what about the reverse? Hey, what about the reverse of that? Do you know, your wife got the the friend at work that's a male that you're constantly fucking being jealous over, and she's telling you all the time, like it's not a big issue. I don't know why you're so insec- insecure about this situation. Like you need to let it go. Like you're too insecure about that shit. Just Would you leave her then? And she keep hitting you with that shit? Just don't let me catch you. That that's where that goes. Because now. As a married person, to me, it's I need proof. If I get proof that you fucking around on me, that's something different. Yes, I'm out. If I don't have any proof, then I just have the I'm gonna seek it. If I don't have any proof and I really feel like that, I'm gonna seek it and then we'll see then. But if I can't get no proof, then I'm stuck. What about you get that? What about you get that ding 10 o'clock at night from this dude? But it's nothing, it's nothing serious. It's just a ding at 10 o'clock to say, hey, first of all, a nigga don't forget the don't forget to bring the coffee tomorrow. Yeah, no. To work. No, you, no, you don't say that. Fuck you need to fuck she need a reminder for coffee for her. Fuck you got a number for her. Mm. Hey, you never know. Co-workers have co-workers have numbers. Yeah, I get Some... that, but that's weird. And I'm and I'm, and I'm gonna talk to her about that. And I'm gonna talk to her about it and say, the fuck is that nigga texting you at 10 o'clock at night talking about some coffee for her? And we're gonna have that conversation. That's not jealousy, that's boundaries. Mm-hmm. All right, put it this way, Dre. I'm a shop store, so. At my job, people got to get in contact with me when they run into problems. She not a shop store, Kev. I'm just saying. I got two females she that have two fem- go ahead, females go ahead. that have my number that, you know what I mean? It's two females that work at my job. They do have, they, but they have all of my numbers. Women in overalls and, don't count. Okay. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Am I wrong or am I right? All right. Who want to cheat on your, who want to cheat on your girl and a woman with, a woman with overalls? You say that all it's been said like that, but then you see these women have full families at home that wear overalls, and you be like, Somebody out of the ugly bitch. That was wrong. Christ. Jesus. That was wrong. Right. So all all chicks that work in male driven industries are ugly. You are saying this. Go ahead. Not all of Go them. ahead. Throw that fucking grenade out there. Them. I'll th- no let them throw that grenade out there. Not all no. of them. No, oh, let this nigga throw that grenade out there. Go ahead, toss the fuck out there. The views, the views expressed Kev, on the PNA Kev, podcast Kev, by Kev, Andre Campbell are of those of Andre Campbell. Are they so cute? They've been waiting to use that. Huh? Are they cute? Who? Who? Your, the two, oh, the mates. two females at my. They're not. No, they're they're they're, they're attractive women. They're not ugly. I don't believe. But okay, <laughs> okay. I don't believe. You. Because the way you answered that shit. Yeah, they're attractive. They are attractive. There's a chance they might hear this. This is lies, my nigga. <laughs> Word. But I don't believe you. you I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge. I'll be the judge. But is there a look? No, no, you've never seen a girl that works at like a, a, at a mighty key or or, or minor key. <laughs> you look at this. Ass can. Like, Yo, how about a Kmart? <laughs> minor keys don't exist. How about, how about a Jim, Roy Rogers? You know, Jim is Roy Rogers. Minor keys don't exist, nigga. Talking about nigga, it's not the eighties. 
Where's it oh going now? Where's it going now? Jiffy Lube, nigga. I don't know. I haven't changed my. I haven't let one of them niggas change my oils in years. What the fuck are niggas called? They call Jiffy Lube's now, right? Yeah, you know you get to change the oil. Yeah. yeah. The women that work at your fucking job right now, because they look like they change oil. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me they don't change their oil to their fucking uh, to their fucking lifted truck. Because nah. I know that's what they drive. No, they don't. They, they got don't a they got a whole they got families. Okay. They got they married. So that's well, what I'm let, saying. Let's respect them. Yeah, they're married. They they married. They got families. But what I'm kind saying of work boots they wear. They wear a woman and work boots is ugly. Ninety five percent of the time. <laughs> Yo. This nigga is saying this shit. He's saying it. I made him say this Wait, shit. Go, go 95% ahead. of the time, a woman in work boots is ugly or a lesbian. Am I wrong or am I right? You said she got a family at home. That don't mean she ain't got a wife. This nigga digging his own grave. Go ahead. It's not. All right. Now we she, has a, she has a husband. My bad. She right. has, has a male. You can call your wife your husband if she's the male of the relationship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, her husband comes with, uh, um, comes with the parts to make kids legitimately. Okay, okay. All right. Listen, Listen we biologically, they can make kids <laughs> together. All right, we pretending. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not pretending. She has a husband. Biologically, they make kids together. This ain't that. You know, your husband. You know, you and your husband. You're strapping up. Kev, okay, like, Dre, I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely does. But it's all good. You can go ahead. I feel you though. I feel you. Yo, so I, I'm saying, so oh all right, so you're saying all the niggas that work at, at all the dudes that work at female jobs, they're just these gay, overly gay dudes. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> did Dre see the, the Wait, work? Name, husband, a name, name, name a female job. Name, name a female job. job. Oh, name a job. Oh, nigga, uh, let's say, uh, uh, come on, um, they work at a uh, Mary Kay. Uh, no, say they work. Say they Traveling, work at a. Say they work at a business. Yeah. Say they work at a business firm. That's. That's I not a know. female. I don't understand that. That's She's a secretary. Man, what is? What the fuck is a business? Ah, firm? Say 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 they work at a barbershop. A unisex barbershop. Gay. A unisex barbershop. Oh, you mean okay? So a man that works there. That's different, bro. But what about a beauty salon, nigga? Like you was right there and you missed it. Oh yeah, a beauty, beauty salon. salon. He straight. <laughs> Is he straight? Forty dollars. He's a beautiful man, <laughs> but he's not straight. <laughs> he's a gorgeous man, but he's not straight. I can tell this nigga, right this nigga Dre hangs out with this nigga, and this nigga will be running up with bitches and be like, "What happened to you coming back over last night? You called me. You ain't never come back over to see me, bitch. Chill." And Dre be looking at this nigga. I thought this nigga was gay. This nigga out here fucking everybody in the streets. He's fucking all his clients. Gay niggas fuck. Gay niggas fuck girls. <laughs> I seen that happen. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I seen it. That shit got weird so fast. I'm just saying. I I'm just that. gonna I'll get away with this whole. That's, you know I that's see, a dangerous. That's, that's a happen. dangerous thing about gay men. Yo, gay men can just they could just shoot and just hit anything. That's dangerous. Right. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> They can see your girls. Let me see your titties. Your titties look off today. Yeah, right? They can do whatever they want, bro. What I was that movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. He was an on the assassin boat. be gay. An assassin? What? <laughs> He's talking about the boy. Pussy oh. assassin. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you can't recut off. <laughs> 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 can't recut <laughs> take it. No. <laughs> man, but go ahead. Continue. Whatever. Let's just move on, oh, man. Cool little spice hey, yo. there. Yeah, I know you do a humongous spice bomb. Usually I do that shit, but I'll let you do it today. Shit. Spice bomb. Yo, okay, they come with fucking emotional baggage, man. Past traumas and shit and dealing with shit in their past that seems to resurface in your relationship. Sometimes unexpectedly. You know, maybe maybe you do something that you never did in a relationship to this person. And they fucking like like have like a whole spaz out moment. You look the fuck the and it just starts like, and it fucks to start fucking a relationship up. Like, is that, uh, is that could that make your relationship end? You're saying, yeah, can that make your relationship be over? Like, like, god damn, like, yo, all I did, you know, what I mean, it's the first time I yelled at her, and like, it's been a week, and we're still fucking 
arguing over the fact that I yelled at her, but I didn't know in her past that, you know, she used to watch her her father beat her mother and she her last relationship she was in was abusive. I didn't know nothing about none of this shit because she didn't want to mention it because she felt embarrassed about the situation. Now you yell at her and it's like, yo, your relationship is on like, like it's just fuck right now because she's thinking you're going to turn out to be like all the other men in her life. All for therapy <clears throat> before anything. Um, therapy before I would take it that far. And if she couldn't be, because if you're married, you you kind of got to be there for that. You know what I'm saying? Not abuse though. But you have to be there for that person to heal and help them heal. You know what I'm saying? So that's a bit of a different situation for me. If I'm with a woman who has that issue and I know that there is an issue and there's a hot button, then let's let's try therapy <clears throat> to see if we can get to the bottom of it. If she's not willing to do therapy and it becomes abusive, then I have to figure out if I want to stay for abuse. Not not abuse, but I don't even. This they're just over. Like you yell at them now. That you know, like this shit. Their relationship. You ever yell at a person? They just be fucking like scared of you. Now like yo, bro, I, like, man. Like what the fuck is going? Like what the fuck is going on with you? Like I just yelled. I just yelled at you. Like the fuck are you jumping and jittery for now? I grab you every time I touch you. You are fucking jumping like you're scared of me. I don't want that feeling. I don't need you to be scared of me. I don't want to be with nobody that's scared of me. I can't touch and shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't be with nobody like that. We just got a really... Listen, I want to get back to what you're saying, but we just got a really interesting question that I would like y'all to read and react to. That's fucking crazy. Click it. Put it up on screen. Okay. Click it or tick it. Would you leave... A chick for a letter. Letting her letter. ex, her ex, but, the money. Woo! Yeah. Yes. The fuck are you even still talking? Wait, 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 wait. Do they have kids? No kids. Let's say. Let's we'll, say we'll the say first. No let's kids. say the first one. No kids. They Goodbye. was cool for a long. So <laughs> she's gone. She's out the door. Bye, Natalie. Good Goodbye. the fuck bye. No. Yes, I would leave her because. That's something that me and them, that's something that, why? No kids. Why? Y'all answer. I talked enough. No kids. <clears throat> yeah, no kids. No. You go, you're hey, out. like, what the fuck are you calling? Yeah. Hey, what, what made you comfortable enough to call her to ask for money? That just shows to me, like, yo, nigga, you don't respect nothing we got going on here. Like, you she think. Don't. Yeah. She don't. He don't either. Well, I mean, that's a given, but she, I, the major role to play here would be her. Because she, not only did she entertain the idea, but she gave it to him. You know what I mean? Which means that there's, there's a, how he much has is to it? come back at some point. How much is it? Also, how much is it? It don't matter. No, 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 no. Care if it was- how much is it? Because if yo, <laughs> she, she saw her ex on the bus and she gave the nigga $5 to get on the bus, I don't really give a fuck about that. That nigga, he's just a broke ass nigga. But if she gave that nigga a thousand dollars, oh nigga, you give any you give over a thousand dollars and motherfucker, you don't know, bitch, you're gone. Shit, <laughs> bitch, bitch, if you're giving him five dollars to get on the bus, five hundred fucking do- bitch, no, no, I'm pretty sure he meant twenty five. If twenty, no, Jeez. you had to press the zero twice to make a mistake. You know what I mean? So no, nah, twenty five hundred. He meant that, and hell no, shit. First of all, bitch, why are you giving out twenty five hundred dollars to anybody? <laughs> so, that's anybody. the first question. That's the first anybody. question. Anybody. So, all right, let me deep dive on this one just real quick because I've spoken enough on this podcast and made a fool of myself. It's cool. You have to understand that if you are together, I'm not even going to talk about marriage. I'm going to talk about just being together. And if you live together, finances at that point are shared between the two. What I mean is. You at least have to know, hey, you have enough in your account to cover this. I have enough in my account to cover this. Like these are the bills that we each pay because we live together. Taking twenty five hundred out of an account at that point, in my opinion, is a together decision. Right. In my opinion, because we both have bills to pay. We have other things we need to buy. Like we are in this together. Taking twenty five hundred out without discussing it with me. Or at least telling me what you're doing with that money 
is already an argument because it goes into, I don't have to tell you anything. You right, bitch. I don't have to tell you. You're fired. Get the <laughs> fuck out of this motherfucking apartment. Oh, Me and you ain't together no more. Hold up. You, went, you jumped the gun too fast. Let, I jumped first, the gun? Yeah, yeah. first get that 2500 back. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that guy is giving it back. No, nah, I ain't giving it back. You better get it back from her first. Get that. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well, are you talking about having a joint account or y'all got no, separate accounts? Separate accounts. Nah, we don't live like that. I don't oh, live like don't that live in like my that. house. Nah, I mean, her money, I, she can spend her money on whatever she wants to spend. So as she long can as give... we come at the end of the day to make sure that everything is accounted for. If she wants to spend money on something, then she she can spend money on it. I'm not, not but her, giving a but her money. Is but the there shouldn't be a discussion because it shouldn't happen at all. That's number one. And number two, okay. I'm talking about like when you're thinking about purchasing stuff and going through your finances and shit like that. I could take care of this. And no, if she if she's deciding she's buying stuff for herself or that's cool. Six, whatever six, she wants to spend six, money six, on, whatever. No, 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 no. Get six, back six, to what we say. No, get back. Let's get back to oh, if she decided to give twenty five hundred dollars of her money to somebody and she told you you need to mind your business because it's her money. You go. What the fuck are you saying? Uh, she's out. She was out of here before. There was no conversation about that. Yo, you give it twenty five hundred dollars to somebody you used to fuck. Oh uh, no, nah, no, nah. you might want to go get that back and see where y'all could. You know what I mean? See where see y'all, y'all could do. See, yeah, see if y'all could rekindle it. You know what I mean? Put invest that in your future. You know <laughs> yo, what I mean? Yo, y'all, yo, y'all love story ain't over yet, boo. <laughs> yeah, it ain't. That shit just it that ain't. shit just begin with a twenty five hundred dollar investment. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you better see if they can put that towards next month's bills because I ain't paying them shits. I'm yeah, gone. bro. If she comes back with a purse, that that then I'm that I'm fine with that because that's one thing. Hey, but you she earned your money as long as you got the money at the end of the month. I'm fine. I'm saying if she goes back with an IOU. <laughs> is the nigga right? Is with an IOU with giving it to a man and never saying anything to you about it is what I'm saying. If she get a purse that's twenty five hundred dollars, whatever. As long as you can come at the end of the month, you're right. I'm talking about giving her money yeah, to a man. Her, period. <laughs> I don't care if it's five dollars. I was I was about to say, bitch. First of all, you got a car. What the fuck is your ass doing catching the bus? That's Gosh. number one. And then number two is why is he walking up to you asking you for five dollars to catch a bus? If anything, you should be glad that you're done with that scenario because <laughs> why are you dealing with a nigga that's catching the bus at our age? You know what I mean? Like that shit don't even make no goddamn sense where we live at anyway. We don't live in no goddamn city. You need a car to get everywhere. And I'm All saying, right. but what about so, she say to so you? So don't get he I don't expect her to give him five dollars. But she came with you and said, Listen, I just gave my ex twenty five hundred dollars before you get upset. No, him and his girlfriend was in a tough situation. He needed it, and I knew I had the way to help him. I don't give you should please un, you should understand my decision. Let me this retort to let me retort to the five dollars. You should have gave him a dollar. <sighs> Why are y'all even fucking conversing? Correct. It wouldn't the argument will never go away, bro. That's the point. You can say she can say that to you, and you could be fine with it right then and there, but you're never just gonna walk away like, oh, it's that yeah. was cool. Because I know for I know for a fucking fact, let a nigga like me talk to somebody that I used to fuck and I don't have kids by them. Nigga. Say but say 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 nigga. Had, say if they has you had some bud and you seen them and they say, Yo, you know, you know what here, yeah. I just rolled this shit. I ain't gonna smoke it here. You take that. What? I ain't giving nothing. First of all, you talking about my weed. I don't, I don't even like you. I ain't damn sure ain't giving you none of my weed. Well, maybe you, know you mean, like. Maybe y'all didn't end on bad terms. Maybe y'all ended on good terms, mutual a, terms. Uh, man, like we, y'all are still we like young. Nah, man. When we, we you listen, there is no person that we any of us ended a relationship being younger on good terms. Hey, I have. No, oh, you didn't. I, I don't know. You <laughs> I do. You're I do got person people I in the relationship. No, no, no. It was bad. Y'all just y'all just made things okay. Yeah, it's just like it's, it's cool not the now. Same. It's, like, yeah, right. it's, it's cool now. It wasn't cool then. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you That's just really hold on funny. to that shit. That nigga like it's never gonna be cool again. For what? Bitch. I don't need to have no relationship with you. Nigga, no if you, you cheated know? and you got caught and she forgave you and she said, Hey Cap. It's nah, nah, today, man, I'm, just, I'm not even uh, listen. That's if nice. I did, if I did dirt, I deserve to get shitted on. So I would expect you to just, nah. well, that's done with. It's over. 
Kev, you out there just cheating on bitches and then coming back 10 years later, like, yo, we cool or not? I just need to know. <laughs> I don't tell them that. I don't need to say we're cool or not. If I nod at you and you nod back, it's like, that. it's cool everything, now. Everything's cool. Everything's good. Oh, yeah, right? Nah, man. I don't talk. I don't, there's no female okay. out here that so, I talk to. So, what if what if your fee, what if a female gave y'all twenty five hundred dollars? I just want to know Ooh. if they gave y'all twenty five hundred dollars. Are you would taking you be, that? Game? Would, listen, would you be mad if her ex, if or if her <laughs> current, listen, would you be mad if her current boyfriend called you and said, "Yo, what the fuck you need money for my girl for?" I wouldn't even. No, I, I would be like, I would be mad. Like, you need to check your bitch. You, don't know his you, you answered it. You answered it. Matter of fact, he showed up to your job. Listen, I'm you need not check your bitch. Money. I'm just not taking the money. Good man. That shit comes with something, bro. Kev I don't care money. what you talk about. Kev taking the money. And Kev, right. and Kev. And I'm taking the money. No, I'm not saying yeah. yeah. yes, no, yes, you no, are. No, yes, you are. That right. shit coming with something, Kev. You if I'm single, just... yeah. But if I'm in a relationship right now, I said, baby, oh, if just... I'm single, if I'm with my girl now, I, I said, baby, we just came on to come up. But that's the thing. That's a difference. No, 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 no. No, you're not. Nope. No, you're fucking not. Cut it the fuck out. Where you get that money from? Why are you yep. taking money from that bitch? Yep. I'm going to take, I'm take it back to Yo, her. your relationship is in shambles as soon as yeah. she finds out. It's, it's, yeah, it's, you might as well call it over. Because because as soon as you're taking money from a bitch and your bitch finds out, she, if I did cheating, ask, that's, automatic, that's a form of cheating if she to them. Give, if, she, if I ask for it, you're right. I'm cheating. But the motherfucker just... Bro, but as soon as it, it, it doesn't that matter. That's what you did. Yeah, I didn't. I'm not asking nobody for no money. Dad. I'm not even assuming that it's you could. It could have just been a random draw, bro. You could have won a contest. The <sighs> contest paid you twenty five hundred dollars, and she worked there and had to deliver that twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, fucked up. Why that bitch no, able sorry, to give sorry. you how? Time out. You were fucked up. Situation. Here's a fucked <laughs> up situation. Come with something. I was, I you, and I wasn't even saying a dick. It's just. It's just Fucked up situation. We're Listen, already lying. Please, this is what no, we're doing. I'm telling you the fucking truth. I'm telling you the truth. Bitch. We I'm need a Bible down here. I'm telling you the yeah. truth, bro. I'm telling you the truth. I wasn't even slinging dick to the bitch. She, we just cool. We was just still just cool. We box. still cool. Oh. I was short on the daycare money. I just say, yo, she was, I need 250 for the daycare. This is your ex? Yes. You was with somebody at the time? Yes. <laughs> she gave me the money. She gave me the money. You got kids together? <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Did you tell your girl? Yes. What she say? She was mad, but I like you didn't have Why it. was she mad, Kev? She's mad because I took the money, but I said, You ain't have it. You a dumb nigga, yo. <laughs> yo, you're <laughs> such a gigolo. You are a you're dumb a fucking gigolo. You are just dumb. You so what dumb. What a dumb little boy you are. <laughs> but hey, my relationship didn't end that day. I know what that much. Dumb little boy you are. But- you At that what? time, our that's relationship because, didn't end. That's because you slang the dick to the where you needed to slang the dick <laughs> yeah. to to kind of calm it down. You know what's crazy? But, you had friends, too. But did the relationship last? Stuff. Is that the question? Uh-huh. Did the relationship last? Yeah, it lasted. Who, are, oh, you hey, still Kev, with him? Kev, no, I ain't with Kev. him. Oh, all right. Yeah. Stop just answering shit, nigga. It did not last. <laughs> further, further than that. It lasted, it lasted past that situation. It lasted a lot longer past that situation right well, like there. like a month? I lasted. <laughs> It was that you planted the seed right there. As soon as you did that, the seed got planted. Oh, man, Don't was... accept money from women that you used to sleep with if you were in a relationship. Dog, that was so you gotta understand how fucking young and immature I was. Like, really, really Boy, fucking. Did you, did you pay her back? This is day. This is daycare for this did is daycare for an infant that is now 21 years old. Did you pay her back? Okay, so let's 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 be real. This did is, you pay her back? I ain't pay her back. Dude, look, that was a form of <laughs> prostitution. Yeah, she was paying you. She he paid her back in the future. Once that relationship was over, he doubled back. <laughs> look, he doubled back. He had to pay that debt. Yes. And then that's when the dick got signed. <laughs> Yo, paying a debt and dick is fucking crazy. And you he said, done it he more said, than once. He said, I wasn't even slinging the dick. Yeah, I just needed some money. I do <laughs> double I, back. I, was, yo, like, I think you told me that story before, and you told me you had to fucking sleep with her. Yo, I think you oh, bullshitting. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> started. Me, he started <laughs> off, yeah, he started off with a lie. Yeah. And, I and, think about and it. Yeah, when I you did and tell you that, that, say double I back, didn't tell you that. Shit. And I'm like, so, so Here basically, you, you did <laughs> cheat on her. <laughs> and you, you got paid money. for it. Yeah. But that, that's, yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. And women 
you nasty for that too. You taking yeah. advantage of it. Yo, you yeah. took advantage of my friend, bro. Hit <laughs> him you know, in the most weakest spot where the kids time is. Me. Right in his <laughs> balls. <laughs> Smack him in his balls with it. You know that's that was a, pussy. Is oh, oh, you, oh, your kids need to go to a, that your was, baby need to go to but school. You, but you, you know but what you I admit mean. that that was a very, 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 very long time ago. That was yeah, yeah. That, that predates a lot of people. I mean, Kiera, you said she's twenty one now. So, yeah, that was yeah. So, so I was like twenty one years ago. I was like nineteen years. I was like nineteen, <laughs> 19 yeah. twenty years old. Like I was, yeah, I was a was, kid. She was in the, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, every time you give someone a peek at your life, they see how terrible you really are. <laughs> when you tell them that you were a, a, a dirty ass, was, another with dog ass nigga, you wasn't shit. When you say that, and then when you double back and be like, oh, yeah, I did have to fuck her, didn't I? Yeah, I told that Dre shit that. Really, that shit really gives a person a peek at how <laughs> shitty you were when you were young. <laughs> you know what? Nah, but she took advantage of him, though. You got to think about that. Yeah, yeah, really she took advantage. I mean, him. yeah, but Kat I knew what he was getting. No, I asked answer. for the money. I thought she'd come through with the money. I did tell this nigga. I forgot. She was, so she was Nate. I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're familiar with who Nate is. Nate is from Set It Off. That when Stony needed money, he gave it to her, but she had to fuck him. So you was the one laying there crying while he you was, was riding you, bro. Yo, you was crying while he was riding you, bro. Yeah. Thinking, thinking about daycare. <laughs> uh, he, he do, I'm doing this for my baby girl. I'm doing this for my baby girl. I was in a fucked up position at that time. <laughs> yo, yo, crying while you thrust in his fucking crazy. <laughs> that is insane. Yo, listen, she y'all, are, on y'all are laughing sheets. at y'all are laughing at low points in my life. <laughs> low points in your life were funny. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even recall them properly. <laughs> no, I forgot you know that was my job. Though. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> yo, you told you told me that shit. I definitely remember that. Was Dre, Dre brain went to the library of memories. <laughs> it, went, it, got, it's, it went in decimal mode. What year? Pulled the book out and rewatched it. Like, yeah, you told to me that you had to fuck her for that money. <laughs> if I do recall, <laughs> and oh yeah, I did. Directly, <laughs> it might not have been directly for it, but it was like not long after it. Like it, double it, it back. Was, it, it was transactional. Yeah, it was like yo, I gave you the. Yeah, because she's like, yeah, I gave Damn. you the money. Like, come yeah, on. to give her the coupon <laughs> when he left. She gave him the two hundred and fifty, and it was a contract. He gave rain her the coupon. Rain, 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 check, rain check, check, dick is crazy. Yeah. Give her a rain check. Yo, cool. came all, right. all right, yeah, listen. Damn, oh, I think yeah, everybody. Did. I think every man did that once. In hey, life. yo, did she oh, pay for a membership with that two hundred and fifty dollars? Uh, no, that ain't was no a lot of money. Unlocks a great business model. A membership to. <laughs> but you gotta be built like one of the big, big African motherfuckers. Yo, <laughs> Yo a member, I'm off for a membership. To my big bitch. <laughs> what Cat was only Cat was live action only fans back then, boy. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll see you on Thursday. Yo, what was y'all, Tuesday? Y'all, Tuesday y'all, what was her name on Happy Gilmore? What was the golfer name on Happy Gilmore? Uh, Shooter McGavin, nigga, Slinger McGavin, Slinger McRobinson. Yeah, we ended there. Go ahead. Yeah, we are ended it there. Y'all ended like Jesus. I. I shouldn't even brought that story up. Like, yeah, you lied. That's I didn't lie. I had to think about it. I'm like, oh shit. Because it wasn't, I didn't have to give her a dick initially for the 250, but I remember her. She's like, initially, but she remembered. <laughs> well, she's seeing you again. Oh, you single? No, remember when I had to give you that $250? It was, it was pretty close. We, we, out, we out on this. Uh, that's another piece. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Trying to stretch you up. <laughs> <laughs>